When it comes to steel industries, I am pretty sure you must have heard the name Lloyd Steel. Well, in March 2023, this company was renamed to Lloyd's Engineering Work because it started exploring other businesses as well apart from steel industries. I will discuss all these details in today's video and you know what? This company has given 18,000% return in last 4 years. Yes, it's not a joke. 18,000% in 4 years. So that is mind blowing. And in this video, I'm going to do the fundamental analysis along with the price action analysis. And I will let you know if this is a company which you should consider investing at this moment or not. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Financial Impulse. So, in this video, I'm going to do the analysis of Lloyd's Engineering Works. So, this is their official website and you can see it has now ventured into a lot of other businesses apart from steel. It is into nuclear power, EPC civil and all these things, marine, hydrocarbon. Okay, I will share this link in the description section. You can go through their official website, this site and you can uh, get to know all the details about it. Now I'm going to the fundamentals part where I will show you some important details in the fundamentals which will, you know, uh, make up your mind whether you should consider investing in this company or not and also if it is fundamentally strong or not. So this is Lloyd's engineering work. Okay. And you can read the same here. Now it is uh, into engaged in design, manufacturing and commission of heavy equipment, machinery systems, hydrocarbon, sector oil and gas, steel plants, nuclear power plants uh, and all these projects. Okay. So it has now expanded its business. Now let's quickly look at uh, its you know important number. So first of all, coming to the current market price, it is 48.35. Okay. And the market cap is 5,500 crore. So it's a small cap company. Reserves it has is 153 crores and the debt is very small with 22 crores. That's why the debt to equity ratio is excellent. And uh, sales in the last three years uh, has been 39.78 percent, the sales growth. Uh, then profit growth is 149.79. So this is again an excellent number. Okay. And you can see very few companies in this list are having good numbers. Okay. One is Jupiter Wagon, other is Praj Industries and this is Lloyd's Engineering. Okay. And uh, Profit growth has been excellent, okay, just under Jupiter wagons. Coming to three years, earning per share growth, it is 141.97% growth. So, this is the highest in this category, okay, that is another uh, good thing, okay. Now, coming to return on asset, it is 5.87%, okay. So, these uh, companies do have slightly less return on asset, so it is fine. Return on capital employed 13.48. This is a good number. Interest coverage ratio is 21.64. This is again another, uh, I mean, good number, impressive number. Current ratio is 2.05. So it is above two. This is also an excellent number. Operating profit margin 14.27, which is higher than the median 12.83. That is again good. And promoter holding is 59.79%. So that is also uh, a very good number. And Altman Z score is 22.27. This is the highest in this category, which is clearly telling that the stock is far away from getting into solvency issues. Okay. This is what the number suggests. And, uh, and let me just uh, highlight this part 59.79 promoter holding. So there is something very interesting in this number, which I am going to tell you in some time when we go to the shareholding pattern section. Now let's go to the year on year profit and loss statement. And let's see if this company has been growing the past three years or not okay so we will consider from this point okay we can also consider march 2021 but let's skip that and let's focus on the last three years okay coming to march 2022 the sales was 50 crores which went up to 313 crores so this is the boom it is experiencing okay six times the sales have become six times then in the trailing 12 months 610 crores again two times so from 50 to 600 almost 12 times increase in sales in two years. Okay. So that is phenomenal. Coming to operating profit, it went up from five crores to 53 crores, so 10 times. Okay. When the sales increased by uh, six times, okay, the profit will increase by 10 times. Again, it went up to 87 crores. So again, very impressive numbers. So operating profit margin has also been increasing. The, the trailing 12 months has seen slight drop in the operating profit margin, but obviously it keeps changing, but the operating profit margin, operating profit 
has been increasing very uh, you know in a very healthy manner okay now let's go to the earning per share so earning per share also went up from 0.06 to 0.35 so this is almost six times increase then it went up to 0.57 almost not double but almost double okay so very impressive numbers we are getting to see in the profit and loss statement and it is clearly telling that this company has has seen strong growth in sales profit earning per share in the past three years so that is uh, a very good number and obviously it could signal a turnaround for this company okay because you can see if we check the history the numbers are not very good okay it has been in loss and all sales was uh, you know very fluctuating going up going down but then the u-turn happened here started from march 2022 but in after the company was renamed and it started exploring other business it i mean immediately jumped up from 2023 so that's a good sign for a company right now let's go to the shareholding pattern and i'll show you the important factor which i wanted to show you so here is the shareholding pattern so you can see in june sorry in march 2021 the promoters were holding 46.12 uh, percent and no stake by the FIAs and DAs were holding just a small stake of 0 0.06 percent okay now if you compare uh, it with the next quarter you can see a clear increase in stake by the promoters themselves okay and that remained steady until June 2022 they increased the stake even further to 57 percent from 53 percent okay then it remained steady it went up to 60 percent okay then slight drop here okay and now it has been around 59.79 percent so if we compare 46 with 59 so we are clearly seeing that the promoters themselves are taking interest in their own company and they are increasing the share and they have increased by around 13.6 percent in uh, in past three years almost okay and if you compare the dis part you can see starting from here december 2022 we are getting to see some very good increase in stake by the FIIs okay from 0 0.01 percent to 0 0.03 then 0 0.03 then 0 0.0 uh, 0.25 percent okay then 1.03 percent okay so this is a massive increase in comparison 400 percent increase here okay here it is 700 percent increase okay from here to here so these are very good numbers and now coming to DIA stake it went up from 0 0.04 percent to 0 0.09 percent so this is two times increase so to sum it up we are getting to see clear increase in stake by the promoters FIIs DIIs why is that obviously they know that this company is heading for a bright future and this has been proven by their increasing sales and profit also so all the factors is clearly telling clearly giving us the picture that this company is fundamentally strong and the smart money is getting into it so the position of this company is pretty solid okay and it could be heading for a bright future but if this is the right time to make an entry in this company or not i am going to show you with the price action and i will also show you how it has given 18000 percent return in past four years okay so let's go to the price action part and before we go there i request all of you to please hit the like button and subscribe to financial impulse if you are uh, enjoying the video so far and learning something uh, new about lloyd's engineering works so this is Lord's Engineering Works weekly time frame price action and let me show you from this low point in March 2020 which is 30 0.30 pesa it went up to this part 58 which is almost 18,900 so 19,000 percent almost okay in 1232 days that is less than uh, th that is in between 3 to 4 years okay you can divide and get the exact uh, time frame okay now we can see after hitting this high of around 59.35 it came down okay and back to back red candles we are seeing for continuous two weeks okay and it has remained down for quite some time now and it is not able to break this level of 49.20 okay so uh, we can also move this level to here 51 okay but let's keep it here okay we'll get to know when the breakout occurs okay it will not just uh, be you know the break of one number it will give a it will break the entire area that's why it's fine okay and also support resistance uh, lines are actually areas not lines so that's why it's fine let's keep it here so now coming to uh, the uh, recent scenario why this is an important area and why lots lots uh, engineering works could give a breakout from this level 
okay so number one reason is it is having the support of 200 days ema that is the 40 weeks ema so when i enable it you can see it is coming closer okay it is coming closer and closer and very soon we might get to see a breakout above this level okay so 49 to 51 let's say 50 up uh, the middle level the 50 level breakout could be happening very soon so that will be our point of entry okay people who have uh, already in the invested in the stock long back then obviously they already have multi bagger returns in the stock that is good and it's up to them if they want to add more units or they just want to enjoy the compounding it's up to them but people who are looking for a fresh entry right now you will have to wait for the breakout okay you will have to wait for the breakout above 50 level with strong volume okay then only you can consider investing in this company so the course of action for now is just keep this stock in your watch list the fundamentals you have seen they are very good okay and the smart money is getting into it so all the good factors are in in, in favor of this company now the price action is also suggesting that the break a breakout could be uh, heading very soon okay now if i go to the daily time frame okay we are also getting the same picture 200 days ema have applied and we are getting to see this and you can also see that the uh, stock is actually little bit away from the 200 days moving average so what i expect it to do that it will come to this level again go down okay and it will need one more swing okay in order to give a breakout above this level so the clear uh, thing that we have to do is just keep watching the price action of this stock for now okay and when the breakout occurs then only we should make an entry no early entry should be done here remember this thing no early entries a break a strong breakout above 50 is the uh, you know trigger point where you should make an entry right so uh, that's all about uh, lloyd's engineering work i hope this video was informative and helpful and if you are enjoying my videos you are learning something new from my videos consider subscribing to my channel and also if you have been watching my videos for quite some time and you are finding it valuable also consider joining my channel joining the financial impulse community where i post exclusive contents right so thank you for watching and don't forget to check the other videos in my playlist i'll meet you in the next one bye take care